How's it going? This is Kolrof, and welcome back to RimWorld Lord of the Rims. We're at the prisoner location where we rescued Spence, just having a look around. Good, Craig is on his way here. Good, we've got some food now, Craig, but probably still be good if you came. What else we got in here? No food? We'd use some more food. More doors. Uh, oh. Interesting. Um, nope. It's not really what we need at all. Not at all. Um, Spence, you're sleeping here. If you could wear that. Um, oh, actually, we can take one of these. Awful. Nope. Excellent. Yes. Claim that. Cloth, bedroll. Uh, yeah. Let's just leave that. Okay. And... Pemmican. Okay. I'm thinking we need to just grab everything and run. Uh, yeah. I'm just worried if we stay too long, we're just... Not gonna have any food. Actually, one thing. Is there any berries on this map? Okay, we can harvest that. Some heel root. No other berries. Okay. Ah, dear. Spence. You're gonna wear that. And then I'm gonna get you to not a side to plant cut. Sure you are. Where are you here? Plant cut. <laughs> if you could, because you're up, prioritize collecting that, harvesting that, and then uh, we'll set up the caravan and get out of here. Harvest botched. Of course. Okay. Guys, let's form the caravan. Yeah, that's fine. And take all the pemmican, fine meals. Yep, insect meat. I'm uh, gonna leave that. Salted pony meat. Good eating. <laughs> and that looks like that's it. We're just gonna leave. Um. These are ours, we should take them. And we'll take the excellent one. Uh, I think we're just gonna leave all this other junk. We don't need it. We don't need it, and... Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's head out. Choose route. Head home. Five days. Whew. Okay, are we together yet? Yes, merge. Um, merge the caravans. There we go. 0.5 days worth of food. Well, everyone eat. Yeah, I know, but everyone eat and keep moving. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea to send another caravan with more food. Spring has begun. That's good. Hopefully that'll mean more berries that they can eat, but... Yeah, I think in the morning I st I'll still send one of the dwarves in another caravan with more pemmican for them. Okay, everyone's up and running, so... Yeah, let's... let's form a new caravan. Um, I think... Taras, Lori... Hmm. Uh, maybe gain these um, weighs less, but he's not depressive and he's not a night owl, so gain. It's gonna be up to you. Grab more pemmican. Good. Okay, and yeah, we're just gonna grab more earthbread root. Um. Yeah, there. Um, maybe a little less, just so you're not over encumbered, because I think even though the mass says okay, it might might be too much. There. And really that should be fine. Um should we just have you run or take a grizzly bear? 4.4 .4, and you move at 4.6. Okay, so just run. <laughs> Choose root. Uh yeah, get there in two days. Okay. Alright, 
Head out, gain, start running out there with the food. Oh, okay. Met peacefully. Great trade. Um, is there anything that we can trade you for? Can we buy food? Um, we don't have anything to, <laughs> anything to sell. We didn't bring any silver. You've got pemmican. Uh, wait a minute. We've got pemmican. Oh, this is Gaines Caravan. Oh, okay. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I didn't really send him with anything that he can trade with. Well, yeah, we're just going to have to move on. Ugh, this is so nerve-wracking. I'm spending all my time just on the world map here, just watching the caravans get closer and pretty much ignoring the main base. They should be fine. Everything seems to be set up, but yeah, they're at uh, malnutrition moderate again. Should be there in just a... Just a half day. Keep going, guys. You've almost made it back. Merge. There we go. Okay. You guys have one day worth of food, and we'll get back in one day. <sighs> we did it. Well, I think we'll do it. Uh, and now we're ambushed, of course. Well, they... They wanted... One of our axes and 55 earth bread root. May actually not be a bad idea to give them that stuff and just carry on. We can always make another one, it's just one. And... I should be able to make it back... Without that earth bread. Be a lot safer than fighting them, but maybe we should just refuse and fight. You know what? I'm getting tired of pushed around. Refuse and fight. Here we go. Oop. All right. Okay. Let's mount our animals. We've got quite a few now, so that's good. Uh. Oh, you're on a break risk. A uh, break. Okay, Camber's on a break. On to Spence doesn't have anything. Tina. Okay, there we go. Let's get everyone that can fight. Uh, what do they got? Mainly ranged weapons and stuff? Hmm. Okay. Where should we set up? We're gonna need to move forward a little bit. Yeah, okay. Here, let's run in there. You guys are going to need to do a better job of fighting things that are close by you. And all you guys on that one. Okay. Kira, fight something, please. And they're fleeing. Hooray. And they left some pemmican. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Take that. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Okay. Well, let's uh, reform the caravan because they'll, they'll take some time to heal themselves. Reform. And then we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to grab all that extra pemmican and yeah that's all our stuff <laughs> anything of value no no more food okay just want to make sure we get everything don't leave anything behind yep okay good let's keep going all right a little bit more food few injuries but probably nothing too serious We've got the herbal meds and we've got doctors. We should be fine. Oh, they're back! Uh, why are you guys not back? Resting. <laughs> Come on back in! You guys gotta be like right here right now. Well, welcome back everyone! Where are you? Hooray! Welcome back! 
Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm gonna wait to say that we made it until these guys... Um, why are they not coming home? <laughs> They're home, but... Enter... Yay! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that must be a bug or something. We're back. We're all back. Hooray! We made it. We did it. We got Spence. And we didn't starve to death. Narrowly. Well, there are so many tasks around the colony that have been ignored. Not because the guys that were back here were ignoring them, but because I was pretty much ignoring the colony. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Toxic fallout. Ah, well, this is Randy's way of saying, Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the colony. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing here, Stromel? Oh, you're building that. Yeah. A bunch of our, um... What are these again? Evil surgery lamps. Yeah. Burnt out. Uh, what do we see? Safe at home. Safe inside. There we go. And, oh yeah, our animals. Oops. Animals to the barn, please. There you go. Okay. Well... I took a little break between cuts. I was kind of exhausted after all the intensity of uh, the trip home and everything, and just, uh, I don't know, felt like I needed a break. My commentary was kind of beginning to break down and whatnot, so. Here I am, back again, refreshed, feeling good. <laughs> uh, and I've got so high hopes for the colony now. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just, we've got Spence back, and yay, but... And that and that is awesome, though I'm not trying to downplay it or anything like that, but not much has changed aside from that, but I don't know, I just feel like... I don't know. Just, uh, it's just good to see the colony, good to see everyone here again. Uh, a couple things I noticed and was changing kind of in the background while we were on that caravan trip. Uh, these doors, I realized that they need to be rotated. In that, I thought they would rotate automatically when I placed them, and when they didn't, I thought it was a mod issue. But no, it's actually that um, in order to orient them, they're not like vanilla doors, you actually need to rotate them. Which is fine. Which is fine. And yeah, so once I realized that, I started changing a few of them. Uh, well, added that one, and I'd actually like to place them around the colony and kind of replace all these uh, regular doors. Just seems more... I don't know. More Dwarven Stronghold. Which is obviously the look we're going for here. I may keep these ones through here, just because they're supposed to be for what will eventually be our um, uh, guest rooms. And, yeah, they'll kind of meld into the wall, which is kind of the intent of them. So I may do that, but all the other doors... Uh, malnutrition. Okay, I thought... Um, hmm, yeah, I guess with the toxic fallout, you're all in here. <sighs> okay, well... Let's see what we can do about making more kibble. Like, we've got lots of stuff, we just need someone to do it. Uh... Mm -hmm. Ooh. Boris McPemmican, yeah. Let's make some kibble, Boris. Because our animals are all crammed in there. Oh! Research complete. Yeah, we're just kind of going through this stuff. This is the last bit of research to do. Good stuff. Oh, good. And this earthbred crop is coming in. Excellent. See, it's all just coming together. What else were we doing? Um, why is there a bear? Oh, that's, uh, that's another bear. Must have walked in. Oh, we've... yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is, and all these things are gonna probably die off soon anyways once the toxic buildup, yeah, gets a little high. Okay. Well, yep. Yeah. Make some kibble there, Boris, and then we'll send someone to transport that over, but couple things we can do is let's get started on the residential area. 
Yeah, let's start mining this out. And we can get this done during the toxic fallout, because shouldn't really be going outside right now. Whoa. Developed a condition heart attack. Uh Aw. Well. Hmm. How old it Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay, well. Whew. We um even if I'd had signed someone right away, we wouldn't have been able to do anything about that. Holy smokes. Well that's too bad. Uh, yeah, we've been feeding our animals regularly, just been trying to send someone out, uh, give them more food periodically, because we've got lots of hay, so we can make lots, but it's just a matter of waiting out this toxic fallout again. Been working on the flooring through here in the meantime. This is long, long overdue, but, uh, you know... Other priorities. We've also we've mined out the first set of three bedrooms and have set the uh, set it up uh, for someone to put in. Org, is that going to be you? No, everyone's picking up the stuff. Okay, well, someone will start constructing that eventually. Compacted steel is always nice. It's way over here. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, we'll just keep working inside. We should actually pick up that bear corpse and, um, and slaughter it. Yeah, should probably do that soon. It's going to be fine because it's outside of the toxic fallout, but it's going to rot on its own anyways. Yeah, did some changes here to the um, uh, mead brewing area. Looks like we're making some right now. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I figured, you know, we kind of need a long corridor for... Oh, boar self-tamed. Uh, hmm. Well, where should I bring you? Yeah, let's bring you up here. <laughs> Actually, I should change that zone to over here now, but... Anyways, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that off camera, not important right now. But, uh, yeah, so I made a little stockpile zone for honey root. I may shrink this. Um, need to build more barrels, but, you know. It's making a lot of honey root, and we could probably use the um, earthbred root instead, so I may... Yeah, I may just shrink it and do that instead. And eventually line all this. I need to put some lighting in here. Uh, but this is this room is all overhead mountain, and we can obviously expand up this way if we really want to, but we'll see how this goes. Yeah, Colony's doing well. If we just get this uh, toxic fallout done and over with, we can uh, get some lumber, and um, as well as mine some more iron. We're kind of running low. Haven't actually been building any of these new doors because it's been building them out of iron. So, yeah. Yep, that's fine. Anyways, I think we'll leave it here for now. Probably skip ahead a little bit, maybe until the toxic fallout's over, as long as nothing major happens in between. Just, uh, you know, frame rate kind of begins to suffer with it on, I find. Anyways, we got Spence back. Back, one big happy colony again. Alright, well thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Take care.